Hey Wagwan, welcome to my show. This is Grammar and I'll be playing this beautiful game. It's called Astroneer. Um basically this is just to show you how to start the game and you know what to do, what not to do for you to have a proper base. Um uh, my name is Grammar and let's begin. So basically in the first part of the game you are taken to the screen where you are given the option to choose your suit, your suit color and your visor color. I've already gone ahead and chose chosen mine. So let's begin the game. So pretty much you are dispatched from a space shuttle and you're in a dropship and you are deployed to this beautiful planet. It's called Silva. It's a very earth like planet. Um, as you can see it has trees, it has stuffs around now when your dropship lands and you exit you can see that it converts into um into a shelter and a landing pad now let's pretty much start with the landing pad um here you're given in the initial stages of the game rather the landing pad acts as a cargo area where you pretty much deploy your initial cargo drop and you're given an oxygenator sprinter and a platform now before we go on any further let's also sp speak to our shelter this is our main area where the game is saved and once you enter your shelter your game is automatically saved um, on the shelter you are pretty much given some adapter ports this is where you connect um, other base items base stuffs so some of them are single port such as this one some of them are double port you also get cable plugs and these connect to other pieces of the base this transfers power and oxygen you have an oxygen meter sorry a power meter on the shelter here and that this is our source of oxygen so we're gonna be putting our con oxygenator here this will provide us with oxygen and um, also power to some extent well oxygen not really power the power is auto generated from the from the shelter so we also have our backpack and our backpack consists of eight storage areas here in the center two on the upper right and left hand corners you're also given a small printer um, on the top end you have your oxygen level indicator this shows you how much oxygen you have once you are untethered so if we should break the tether away from our shelter or move away from our shelter you can see that we start using the oxygen in our backpack there we go you can see it's it's going down it's been reduced and um, you also have here your power level indicator and once you print items um, f without being connected to any power source that power is taken from your backpack on the left hand side of the backpack is your research catalog it shows you all the items that you've already unlocked and all those that are locked it shows the different printers and what these printers can print this on the far left hand corner shows what items you can print straight from your bag this going right shows you the items that you are able to print from your small printer your medium printer and your large printer you are also shown the required items to print the different uh, pieces and you are given the status now if the item is unlocked your it is shown in blue if it's on if it's locked it's shown in pink or purple and here for example our solar array costs 6250 bytes um, currently we have zero bytes so let's continue now that we have connected oh how could I ever forgot on the right hand side is our terrain tool it has some little adapters here that you can add stuffs like a temporary storage area 
and it also has areas where you can add stuff to improve your your terrain tool now your terrain tool can do three main things it can mine as in go down it can flatten and it can also build up so you do that accordingly now as you look around your shelter you can see that we have a few items this is a resource called compound um that's something that we need in the early stages of the game i am also looking to see if there is resin which is another resource that is definitely important in the early aspects of the game so let's grab some of some of um this resin here so that we can get straight into it now in the initial stage of the game i kind of always start by um making a canister so that i can use my terrain tool basically the canister stores soil so that you can use it to build up um with your terrain tool i'm looking for um i'm looking for resin and unfortunately it doesn't seem as if there's any that is close to my shelter which is unfortunate i just found a little bit over there now let's you know you don't want to stick around away from your untethered then from your base for too long because if you run out of oxygen then you pretty much die so we're going to use a bit of these compound here to create a tether bundle and the tether bundle will allow us to go out a little bit further in our base now let me just put down these my platform and my shelter i'm going to be putting this one here let's unpack this and i'm going to be attaching my printer there um, connect it to our base and there we go so once your cable plug is connected there is a yellow line that shows power and there's also a blue line that shows oxygen now let's let's build a tether bundle i'm going to be used i'm going to be building printing tool that should take us a little bit of distance so you just pretty much now this is what happens when you don't place these tethers to um close enough the tether line is broken and oxygen is no longer able to be transferred now i did mention earlier about research research um sorry bites bites provide bites is that the currency of this game so you definitely need bites to to unlock stuffs and there are a few ways in which you can get bites you do this by either researching items in your research chamber and that's one of the things that we'll be um, focusing on today and just as you saw there in the, um you also get bites from researching research samples so obviously there's quite a few compound around but uh unfortunately there seems to be little to know let me just grab this one back there seems to be um very little amount of resin this looks like a, a cave entrance that's not clearly dug out wow it's crazy i'm not seeing any any um resin wow I'm I'm pretty a uh, far away from my base. All right, my tethers. I'm out of tethers, and it's it's very strange. I'm not seeing any resin. Wow! Let's jump over there. You don't want to fall in that um, abyss right there. Let me grab these research samples here. 
Wow. I'm seeing a lot of compound. There's another cave entrance. No, you don't. Wow. Wow. Let's see. I hope I remember where my tether line is because there you go there you can see i am running out of oxygen that's not good so let me let me grab this i'm also going to grab a few more compound and in addition to the compound i am also getting a bit of organic um, resources let me grab three this time now when you are um, using your terrain tool you also want to be mindful of um, let me run out this way of um, oh I did not create the tethers you also want to be mindful of where how deep you are going because you can definitely fall into some holes that will prove to be rather problematic to get out of I think that should be enough um, Compound. I'm going to grab a few of these tethers simply because um, there doesn't seem to be any what do you call it resin out in this direction so I'm just going to grab a few of them not all because I'm definitely going to be needing these in the future now I could I could also go down into a cave I definitely plan on doing a bit of that today just to get um, the resources I need to create a soil centrifuge so in today's episode I'll be doing a I'll be working on my research center my soil centrifuge oops that was not placed properly my research center my soil centrifuge Come on, what's going on? Soil centrifuge and um, my smelting furnace. Those are what I'll be working on today. I am seeing everything except resin. That is so strange. Wow. I may have to go under underground in a cave somewhere. Maybe then I'll find a bit of resin. Let me just run out a little bit. Uh, there's some over there in the, in the distance. I am going to run, continue running my tether line out towards that direction. I did see, oops, I did see some amount of resin out there. So let me just grab as much as I possibly can because seeing that it is so far off. Uh, okay so I have one and normally I print my soil canister on the very first resin that I get um, just so that I can utilize my terrain tool let me grab some more of these research sample here and um, I have 306 research bites and that's all just from research samples. Now with the research samples they they tend to um, regenerate so you can always you can always go back to the areas that you got your initial um, research samples from and they will be regenerated which is good. So let me grab, I think, maybe one or two more. My oxygen. So you always want to pay attention too to your oxygen level. Very important. Okay. I think I have... Wait. Is that... Is there anything here? No, it doesn't seem that way. There's also some more resin over that side. Let me just run back to the base. And um, I'll grab, I'll start, I probably can make, print the research chamber. So with the research chamber, as the name suggests, you're researching items. So pretty much um, you are, you will 
be researching um, organic materials and those normally have like a, an average of 400 research bytes and that that's just the surface ones on this planet that's what I normally see them with the amount of bytes that is so I'm just flattening the area because it makes for a better base building um, it's kind of how would I say a bit unesthetic for me to be making my base on unlevel surface so let me just pull this back a little now you are not able to move items when they are well large items I should say when they are connected so let me just put this in this direction rotate it a bit and I'm going to be placing it right right here now you want to place it so that your cable plug will be in contact with it and I'm going to re rotate my printer right there um, let's let's make a large platform now you can see that um, upon moving my platform I kind of broke the tether line so let me put that right there and you can see that it is now connected now another thing that you definitely want to be paying attention to especially in the early stages of the game is your power level now um if you explore the area you will find um functioning power items such as solar panels small and well yeah small and medium and wind turbines so those those are your basic power generating items that you want to grab as quickly as you possibly can because as you see in the short future um, your base is entirely dependent or the progress of your base is entirely dependent upon the amount of power that you have so I'm currently just you know looking around in the close areas of my base just to see oh here we go we have some um, some resin right here in the forest in this forested area next to our base let's get back to our base don't want to be suffocating now my my large platform is completed so I'm going to be putting it right mm, let me re rotate it right here that's that's good no so let's put it right there unpack it and I'm going to just connect it right away um, let's try to get a hold of this plug right here come on there we go and I'm going to be putting my research chamber there so I've already have I've already the um collected the required items to build the research chamber. Now while that is being printed, I'm going to go out a little bit to see if I can find any power power items. Hopefully I will be able to. Um but just just a note let me show you what a research material looks like sorry an organic material that's that's the proper name for it this is a research item so i'm going to grab it and return to base now the there are many other efficient ways to transport large items and you can obviously see that the speed of your walking decreases rapidly when you are carrying these very large items now further on in the game you will be able to use tractors and so on tractor and trailer to pull this these items around so let me just leave that right there and i'm going to head well i think all right that's almost completed let me just head off um and see if i will get lucky maybe not 
Alright, let me just drop one right there. No more. So you normally you oftentimes find research items in in the forested areas. They're normally placed in trees. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Let's not wander too far because we might face the problem of oxygen depletion very quickly. And there seems to be okay. Now, when the first indicator light come, let me just grab a. Let me just grab one of these just in case my oxygen level. Alright, I'm going to be needing a filter. Now the filter is a source of um it's like a, a small oxygen tank. Sorry, oxygen source. Now I hope I'll be able to find my base. I think I came through here. Now one of the things that I kinda criticize this game negatively for is the difficulty to navigate without losing your bearings now one of the very one of the ways in which you can um, navigate this game is basically using these icons these beacons and they pretty much um, they pretty much kind of give you an idea of where you are and uh, well where uh, where the item where the beacon is and once you are within a certain distance the beacon you know is shown so i just collected a, a battery and uh, you know what a battery is it's basically a, a power source a power storage item um so let's let's continue a bit out to see if we can find anything more uh let me grab these research samples now i also should mention that research samples you tend to get more from them when they are under and in caves so that's something and i also found out that when you start exploring other planets then though the research bites that you gain from those are way way higher than than the one you get on this planet here um let's just go out a little i know i'm a little bit all over the place but um i am trying to you know mention things as they come to mind uh nothing seems to be in this direction there you there i can see my beacon from here so i have a general idea of where my my base is located um now one other thing to mention is the fact that when you hover over the player yourself you can see the 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 coordinates the cardinal points north south east and west so you always you can also use that as a method of navigating around the area um let me just sometimes you can think item resources are inside these these um debris uh, there you go i found myself i think that it ooh. so i found a storage pod storage area this comes in handy especially in the more advanced stages of the game now i'll probably have to go cave diving a bit just to see if i am able to find any power source power generating um, resource um as well as my resources that i might need to um to generate 
to 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 create my soil centrifuge so let me just look for an under underground cave now i'm going to grab a bit more of these compounds now those are these are debris but they can be used to uh, well i guess i should leave that out until further down in the game let me just make some space here mm. i definitely need my soil my canister i need probably two of these uh let me keep one of these just in case i run out of oxygen now these are precious com well it's going to automatically find its stay in the printer area um so let's go let's go find a cave I did see an entrance uh, hmm, over here, if my memory serves me correctly. Let's see if I, all right, is it this one? Well, not that one, but I did see a, a proper cave opening um, a lot when I was placing these turtles down. Alright, tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead and continue digging down through this one here. So, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be laying down tethers as I go down further. Uh, like so. Let's see how far I have to dig down to get into this cave system. Well, ah, I didn't have to go too far. Lovely. So, um, I'm just going to flatten this area so that, you know, the, the descent is a nice, smooth experience. Let me just take a bit off off the top. So, kind of make it wide, easy to, nav easy to navigate, you know, a little less cumbersome. Yeah, looks like, alright, so let me try and get a, ah, this is perfect, so I can, oops, so this game is quite fascinating, you are pretty much playing to your own imagination. Oh, wait, did I actually get... Alright, let me just place another tether here. Now, if, if you're... If the... If the slope at which you have um, made your... No, that's, that's, that's not sensible. You, you don't want your slope to be too too steep. Oh, let me just create a, a tether bundle here. So you don't want your slope to be too steep. Another one might might be helpful because then it might you know be problematic to get back out of the cave system. I think I'm grabbing some um, hmm. come on I really think this is way too steep but let's just work with it for a little while and see what we can come up with if we can make it down there and currently that pink resource that is quartz and quartz itself is used to create um a beacon but quartz in and of itself is also used to generate glass and i'm getting tons of it to be honest this is not 
uh, my real purpose done. Oh, here we go. So now we're inside the cave. Let me just kind of level up this area. Nice. So I am inside the cave. However, I don't have much space. I'm just going to run back to the base. Um, and I'll definitely have to work on on um the steepness of of that system that I made to get down into the cave system. While I'm at it, I'm just going to grab a research item on my way there. You know, because getting bats is is very important. But um. This map has not been very kind to me in the initial stage because very few um, resin, very few, very few resin, very few of any, you know, usable compound or compound that I need in abundance. Let me just leave these on the storage area and you can see that when your backpack becomes full your you automatically start placing things inside or on your terrain your um terrain tool now, so i'm going to run back down into that cave try grab a few laterite now laterite is what we use to make aluminum and we definitely need aluminum for um, our soil centrifuge. So this is what happens if this the descent is too steep. You slide. Ooh. And though sliding in and of itself is not a problem, you always want to be exercise a little bit of caution. Now these are research aids and um, you get research items out of, out of them but they are accessed in different ways what's this right here that's a debris they're accessed in different ways uh, okay let me just run towards this direction just to see if there is anything that i might need in this way uh okay there seems to be a long never ending Oops. let me turn back that might not be a great idea uh, because you get lost very 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 easily inside cave systems very easy especially in the initial stages because you are you don't have a light source the only light source that you're depending on is um oh be careful is your the light that comes in your on your helmet or your vi well it's a it's a helmet to be honest technically speaking but that's that's the only light source that you have so you definitely want to be very cautious while you are traversing the caves but this is just a general well a pretty a brief you know walk through of a simple cave system There are tons more. Oh, I see a laterite. There, there we go. So, when we place tethers, we can use it, you know, to get back to where we want to go. It's like Ansel and Gretel, you know, or Gretel. I get to understand that. That's the way. I'm not sure if that's the way Americans pronounce it, but. I've heard people saying Gretel. I honestly believe it's Gretel. But I guess that is uh, another day. Ooh, uh, my backpack is full. But let me just put that out. Because laterite is more important than... um. Wow, it's all full. So let's get back to our... Wait, let me just uh, look around to see if there is any good stuff that i might believe in here i did mention that you don't want to get too far into these cave systems especially oh there seems to be quite a bunch of resin down here 
what I'm trying to find is any power source uh, let's just go a little distance here it's pretty dark you want to be careful all right so let me just return I don't want to be too explorative without the proper oh my line to the line runs in this direction so I don't want to be too explorative in the in these early stages of the game um, you know you kind of want to expand the basic stuff of your base before you attempt to do any sort of deep underground exploration yeah so I'm just running back to my base with my bounty uh, let's go up this very steep incline pretty steep I might add I am definitely going to have to work on it it's it's definitely too steep but the good thing is that we've got all the latter that we need um, that should take care of our early needs pretty much our research item is completed let's just put this one in as as right all right so let's see now i think we need all right so where is it research chamber okay we can get our smelting furnace done and we can also get our soil centrifuge open very good lovely no, um, one other thing that I also would recommend is that you unlock a better platform. Let's see. This one. This is one that we're trying to aim for. We need 500 bytes for that. We only have 205. Um, so, we have a bit of, you know, time. But I'm not going to wait on that 500 bytes to be obtained. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to just work with the platform that I have. Let's just do that. Um, now, once you start researching your research items, you don't want to can you don't want to stop it because once you stop it, it it's automatically destroyed you don't want to waste waste your good old good old bites you know so let's just see if we can find any um what are these i think a research sample is here there we go let's see if we are lucky enough to find any sort of power items be it a oh there are quite a few of these quite a few of them let us you know what i think i need to always be traveling with at least a resin and a compound you know there are some more research resources in this old what seems to be a an old well it's a crash site so there is some amount of um resources in that in that area let's grab a couple more of these so that we can make a few more tether bundles it is quite obvious that we have a, a galore of these things so might as well we use it you know might as well we use it from time to time you know i might say a few words in jamaican and i always do that you know run out thinking that i have a tether bundle trying to put down the tether bundle only to realize that i have not printed the tether bundle great so let's head out 
towards this direction. Um, let's see what we can find. I, I don't think I'm... You know what? I don't think I should be placing any tethers there. As you can see, that is a giant fall. And I could... Hmm, I think I see something here. I could create a little bridge to go across. So let me just continue with my with laying down these tethers. I'm going to create a bridge across this area. So you pretty much get your terrain tool and flatten the area and there you go. Your flatten tool creates land. And that can be used for a bridge. So you don't have to work yourself up too much. Here you go. I have a perfect, perfectly engineered bridge, you know. Um, let's see. I Lovely. I think we have found a small turbine. Mm, not the best, but at least something it can generate some amount of electricity let's see what else we can find here in this mountain oh wow uh, we'll get to this in the, in the near future wow 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 look at that nothing all right so I am running out of oxygen let me get back to my don't die on me come on there we go so we have found a small turbine mind you it is not the greatest find in the world but still it can do us some good I think we have also found another patch of now these resins are very they are very spaced out. Eh, what can you do? So, my processes back at this base are literally almost coming to a grinding halt because I have very little um, power. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using a printing some small generators and I'll be supplementing the power with organic resource. I think that is you know the only solution to our problem right now. Let's try to make a smelting furnace. We need two resins for that. Uh, we have one here. Oh we only have one. Wow now which direction i ran in this direction so i did see some resin out here i'm going to grab a few of them so that i can make the smelting furnace and then when that is completed i will go straight ahead and i will be making my salt centrifuge lovely we are right on track uh, let's grab these that's one and let me grab a few more if my oxygen tank will allow me I guess not let's run back to the base ah there is a cave entrance it's right there well at least with the other one I I pretty much got close to um my laterite spot so that's that's something all right so uh, one smelting furnace coming up quickly now I'm going to be you know printing a small generator just to kind of help with the power consumption now where is it um, let's put that right there there seems there doesn't seem to be any wind blowing in that direction I think I can I will be connecting this to the base 
and let's just add organic compound so and just a little bit better i'm going to be doing what another one do i have any more compound of course i have compound compound is right next to me all right so let's grab some lovely compound good and I'm, i'll be putting my other oh my battery is pretty much empty i'll be putting my other um generator here as soon as, as it is printed good and let me place my battery here right there so now you can see my research is going on a bit faster and my uh, my printer is also doing this thing but you can see my smelting furnace is placed right on the edge of my flattening my flattened surface so let me just extend this a little bit more out uh, like so and even if your tether line is buried you you are still connected so my let's put this here and let's put this one there and this so i'm going to be con rotating this like so and there we go um that's good right there uh good so let's try to smelt this latter right wow let me replenish my generator with some fuel and you can see that my smelting furnace converts the latter right into aluminum and we need that for our soil centrifuge now just seeing that we have little um amounts of resin our soil centrifuge will come in handy so we need two compounds for that our soil centrifuge will, will be definitely um a plus because at least we will be able to um to create resin from soil and that's the beauty of our soil centrifuge and that's enough now i am i i'm going to and one soil, soil one soil centrifuge coming right up now let me just oh my research item has been fully researched grab these samples we have 807 bytes not bad not bad at all here let's just grab this one um and come on now let's just wait until our soil centrifuge is completed um <coughs> it's almost there one for you and another for you good almost done but we also need a, a platform for this so i'm going to be unlocking my large platform b um i need three resins for this so what i'm going to do i'm going to be pulling off my smelting furnace just temporarily and placing my soil centrifuge on this platform let's rotate this turn it towards me um so here is how it works you just pretty much uh fill it with soil let's grab some of these that's that's aluminum not aluminum that's copper So, and these boulders are going to fall 
after I disappear. Good. So we grab another full canister of soil. Now when that's completed, we pretty much um, can make our, for example, resin. So two, two full canisters of soil will give you eight resins. I love this part. It's, it's, it's a beauty. It fills it with soil and by centrifugal force, it spins it into resin state-of-the-art science i tell you um let's grab some more organic compound organic material i think i am getting my chemistry a little bit confused but um one here one there that speeds up the process and there we go we have eight beautiful resin so oh our backpack so now i am going to be cleaning up my small base but you have seen me using my research chamber the soil centrifuge which i'm going to provide a platform for and my my well this is my my smelting furnace I meant my smelting furnace and you have also seen me use the soil centrifuge so i thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one take it easy bye bye